everybody okay so we got a big week this week because we're getting into the nitty-gritty and yes I said week because I'm still waiting on parts to get here uh, some people some sponsors some manufacturers some of those companies still haven't got that stuff here it's that's kind of the name of the game that's why you start this stuff months out you got to start prepping months out so that you can wait on those parts to come in supply issues whatever it may be just start way ahead of time so you can get that stuff in here before it's crunch time which it kind of is crunch time now anyway but anyway Big week because we got to get into uh, the engine, rebuild the engine, and start putting the thing back together once the engine and clutch is all done and all put back together. I talk with my hands a lot, don't I? Anyway, get the engine done, get the thing running, and then start throwing all the other stuff back in it. Should have graphics this week, come from AMR Graphics up in, I think AMR Graphics. I'll double check on that. But they're coming from Vegas. Uh, they hooked us up. Thank you, AMR. Got some new parts and some other sponsors. One of them right here. PTR Motorsports, thank you David. Support your local privateer. Those guys are super cool. David is uh, actually hooking us up with like sprockets and chains and gaskets and rings, which is some of the stuff I'm still waiting on to rebuild the engine. But we can at least get it torn down and then throughout the week as the parts show up, I can put them back together and put the whole thing back together and we should be good. Uh, Cam is coming from Jeff up at Oregon Coast Power Sports. He's in St. George, Utah now, by the way. For some of you who don't know, he's moved. So he's actually closer to everybody. Um, another thing that showed up, got ourselves a PRP carrier. All right, so these guys out of New York, uh, I forget, I think it's Robert. Robert from uh, PRP Racing. Made in the USA, baby. We got a PRP carrier, fresh, put that in. Don't have to worry about the rear end eating itself up now. Just make sure we got some fresh grease in it before we start the race, and then take off. We got a fresh carrier. If it's good enough for Brendan Hogue, and it's good enough for Nick Janusa, it's good enough for me. Jason even runs it on his work squad. So, very happy to have that here. Showed up super quick. Great price on that thing, by the way. PRP carriers, look them up. That thing is brand spanking new. He machines it himself in-house and sends it out. Zerk fitting on it already so I can grease it up. Awesome. So, without any further ado, let's get into the rest of the quad and tear this thing down and start rebuilding it back up. At least I can do the clutch right away because I've got the clutch basket. So, let's get to it.
Okay, oh, hold on a second. <sighs> gotta turn off the swamp cooler. Okay, so I'm kind of reaching a stopping point. I finally got the engine back together. We got the head back on, the valves are shimmed. I got almost right on the money with the valve shims, but the shim kit I have, the increments that it goes in, I can't get it spot on, but I'm within, you know, we're talking, I think 0.01. So we're really close, we're, all, we're right on top of it. It's gonna run great. So new spark plug in, something I ran into, issues you're always going to run into. Uh, I tried to get the old temp sensor out of the original head and ended up just breaking it off in there because it's so seized in there. So I had to go find a new one today. Luckily, Coin Power Sports, like 50 miles away, had one. I literally drove over there, grabbed it, and came back and then put it in. So we've got a brand new temp sensor, which uh, that's good anyway. All right. So as you can see, we got the car back on. That's all rejetted. The air box is on. I'm using mine because I had this pre-filter lid and hers is actually cracked and kind of broken. So I put a good one on there. We actually have some new air filters coming from Twin Air. So I've got an Uni in there right now. I don't know if it's Uni, Uni, whatever. We got that in there. Um, Twin Air actually sent us a couple of filters and there's some kind of new filter like a, uh, it's not oiled, it's not dry, it's just something of, oh, it's, um, it's supposed to be flame retardant. So if you ever have like a backfire and you have spark shoot through your intake or something like that, back through the carb or whatever, uh, it won't burn up your air filter. It's supposed to be flame retardant. So cool, let's try it. Um, another thing we ran into, clutch issues. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so, oh, it's kind of dark. Eh, anyway. All right, the clutch basket is on there right now, but what I found when I opened this thing up, because I wanted to check it, one, the hub has a groove in it. Uh, it's really hard to see on here. Okay, you see that really shiny part right there? That is like bare metal. So we have a full bulletproof in here, but we gotta get a new inner hub because that groove is right where all the plates sit and it's gonna cut right through the middle of our fibers. So it's gonna basically cut the fibers in half and wear the clutch down faster. So I would rather, we've got a new uh, billet inner hub coming. And I also found that this gear that goes to the back of your basket is kind of loose. Um, the bearing in there feels okay. Feels kind of loose though. So I have a new bearing on the way as well. That inner bearing that goes on your shaft in here. And uh, I'm gonna pull this apart and see if I can't figure out why this gear feels like it's moving separate from the basket a little bit. It might be some bad bushings in there, I don't know. But we have the parts to fix it. We're gonna get it fixed, so it'll be running good. Uh, if not, we have a steel basket that we can put in here, but I don't know if I wanna run the steel basket just yet. So anyway, the engine's back together for the most part. Once we get this clutch back together, which should be this weekend, I can start this thing up and get it running. So. New piston, new rings, new cylinder. The head is on there, my old one. So the uh, Oregon Coast ported head. 
Uh, he actually, Jeff sent me a stage two hot cam and that's sitting in there now. So now, yeah, the wife should be real happy about that when I leave all this stuff on here for her <laughs> for the rest of the race season. But uh, this thing is ready to fire up here pretty soon once I get that clutch back together. And then I got to move on to the carrier. So before I finish tonight, I'm going to throw in the new carrier, the new PRP carrier, and uh, that should be it for now. This thing is coming back together and should be back to life in no time. So anyway, thanks for coming along, guys, and uh, sticking with me on this build. It's taken a while because you run into snags like that clutch and the uh, broken temp sensor and things like that. That's what happens. I mean, this thing's been around since 2006, so you got to kind of expect it, even though I wasn't. Uh, and you kind of got to roll with the punches. So we're going to keep working, get the PRP carrier in there, and then I'm done for the night. So can't wait to show you guys this thing when it's done because the suspension's on its way. Got a friend coming over this weekend. He's bringing the rest of the suspension. Got the roll arms. The shocks apparently are completely rebuilt. So I have some new reservoirs. on it. Oh, Elkas look so good when they're fresh. Well, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Make sure you come back so you can check out the finished product on this thing. By next time, we should be able to take it out, do a test ride, rip it across the desert, see how it's doing, adjust the shocks a little bit, you know, new chain sprockets, and we're good to go. We're ready to rock all the way to V2R. So come back, see this thing when it's done, and I will be here.